Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, it's good to see you all. Uh, I came 2,000 miles to deliver this speech. Also, es ist sehr schön, euch zu sehen. Ich bin 2,000 uh, Meile uh, gefahren, um euch zu sehen. Uh, mainly, the reason why I came to deliver this, uh, this Black Planet Award to Formosa Plastics is because I have been studying and have been involved with this company on the ground level for 20 years and even went to Taiwan, where Formosa is from. But uh, I don't know if most of y'all know where Formosa started. It started out with a rice farmer in Taiwan and his plants and his fields got bombed in World War II and the United States gave him the money to start one of the biggest PVC companies in the world. Uh, and, and matter of fact, uh, one of the ways that uh, this rice farmer who became a chemical manufacturer, the way he started was he would take very cheap companies that were bankrupt, he would cut all the safety, he would cut all the workers, and he would ram the production through the roof. And that's the way he could turn around a bankrupt, a bankrupt chemical corporation and start making his millions. And matter of fact, uh, for most of plastics, the, the Wong family, it was actually Y.C. Wong who started. Uh, he called himself the chairman. He had three wives and about 12 kids, and he made his children a part of the dynasty. So it was a family, one of the biggest family-owned dynasties in the world. Matter of fact, uh, the Wong family is the richest people, uh, the 11th richest in the world, and the biggest, strongest industrialist in the whole island of Taiwan. And uh, matter of fact, the reason why Formosa the Wongs came to Texas, where I'm from. The reason why they came is because they got kicked out of Taiwan because they were such bad polluters, so they came straight down to Texas and Louisiana. Matter of fact, uh, Formosa, the Wong family, is an international polluter, and they not only polluted the whole island they're, where all their chemical plants are in Taiwan, they recently went to Cambodia and bribed officials to take poison toxic waste that got so bad that there was a uh, chaotic scramble. People jumped out of windows, there were car wrecks, and the workers that handled the waste died. Matter of fact, uh, they've got chemical plants down in, uh, they got them in Illinois, they got them in Delaware, they got them in Louisiana, they got them in Texas, and if they haven't blown up their plants, they have either been so outrageous that the governor of Delaware revoked every single one of their permits. So for, four, for 20 years now, I have been fighting for most of plastics and they're doing the same things they did 20 years ago and, and primarily it's because the state of Texas and the state of Louisiana uh, have a little collision going along with them and they work hand in hand and so they can have a 140,000 pound release and all the state will give them is maybe like a thousand dollar fine. <laughs> uh, and primarily, when I, when I first started fighting Formosa, they landed a helicopter in my front yard, shot at the house, and killed the dog. Um, and when I was shrimping on my shrimp boat, Formosa sabotaged my shrimp boat, and I nearly sank out in the bay twice. And, and right now, there's, uh, there's researchers from the university, like University of Texas A&M, and what they're finding downwind of Formosa the cattle, they all got DNA damage, meaning their chromosomes are changing. 
the oysters in the bay are changing. The DNA is changing because of the emissions that constantly come out of that plant and not only exposing the cattle, the sea life, but the workers. Right now, I have, uh, after 20 years, it's very hard for an environmentalist to get the workers in a chemical plant because you always think it's your job, an environmentalist is going to harm your job. But Formosa is so bad that now I have the workers. Uh, right now we have an, uh, we started an injured workers group uh, from the Formosa plastics plants, and it's it's men who have been constantly exposed to EDC, ethylene dichloride, vinyl chloride, benzene, chromium, you name it, and and a lot of the workers. One, one worker I can tell, he was a supervisor, 25 years, and now his mental capabilities is like a 12-year-old. Uh, and when I go to uh, Taiwan in January, I was going to take some of the workers, some of the whistleblowers that had told the state about the things that Formosa was doing, and the workers were so afraid, even ones that were retired, ones that had left because they were sick or they got injured, they were so scared, they were afraid they were going to be assassinated. So, you know, they're still hiding out. These workers are still scared from the way Formosa treats the employees and the community. Um, and that's why I'm, I'm so glad to be here tonight. I was very, very honored to be invited to come here because I cannot tell you what type of stubbornness it took for them to research all that data and what type of courage it does to come out and identify people. I, th I think it's tremendous that people like Yuri gets, gets awarded for, for the things that he has done. I think that's extremely important that we have role models like him. But it's also very important that the people who are out there doing these deeds not just the corporation, the names, the people, the faces that they get identified. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. Feeling yeah. Okay. Good.